Hi guys, this is lesson number 46 from our Corel Draw training course series. In this exercise, we are going to learn how to apply vignette effect around the edges of an image, how to blur the edges of the image in any shape. As you can see that I have an example here. There is the same picture I imported in Corel Draw and uh, you can see that the blurred edges uh, of this heart shape and there is an oval and here we have a rectangular box. This feed ring it's maintaining the transparency on any background you can use in your brochure in your design layout without using Photoshop you can apply this effect in Corel Draw. As you can see that here we have a image in heart shape. This thing you can do with different way. You can clip the image inside the heart shape or you can intersect the image with the heart shape and once you will apply the blurred effect around the edges you will apply feather it will work properly. But if the image is square or rectangular once you will apply this effect, it will give the white background around the feather edges. And we will discuss how to solve this problem. If your image is square or in rectangular shape, how to maintain the transparency around edges. So let's get started. Okay, fit to page. Let's import the same image. File, import and uh, that image we have here you can see that uh, I'm going to import click it and click on import let's place it just click on drag so here we have same image if we want we can clip this image in any of our desired shape here we have shapes you can see that if I will click on this polygon tool under this here we have a common shapes point to the common shape and click it and you can see that here in the property bar we have here different shapes since I selected I choose last time heart shape so it is there I'm going to place in our page click and drag all right so here we have now this shape we can use for our picture we can clip the image inside or we can intersect the shape with the image let's try to intersect I will bring this shape here and uh, this is the area exactly I want inside my shape so while the shape is selected press shift key and select the image and then click on intersect so let's check now our intersected part you can see that it is here sometime once you will intersect with the picture it might intersect only the shape again so in this case you can select the shape and uh, simply you can go to the object order to back of the page and then again repeat the same thing object order to front of the page then intersect it will work so in my case it's okay now the image is intersected so we can delete this heart shape let's move this image now this heart shape itself it is our image okay while it is selected we can go to the effect and under effect here we have blur and second option here is feather if we will click on feather you can see that the edges of my image it's feathered and here we can control the amount using this uh, width slider wherever you are happy with your setting you can just click ok so this is how it's applied if I want I can clip the image also in any shape let's try that a lip tool I will click on lip tool and draw a small lip over this image this time I'm not going to intersect the image I will clip that image inside this shape so click on pick tool select the image simply you can go to the object power clip and place inside frame and you can access this option by right clicking on the image also so I will click it place inside frame and click inside this uh, shape so you can see that it is clipped but here we have uh, one issue once you will clip you can see that the power clip feature it is enabled and it will not allow us to apply the blur effect so in this case what we can do if you clip the image you can convert this image to bitmap so we'll go to the bitmap convert to bitmap my image is RGB I will leave it as it is and then click OK so now you can see that it is converted to bitmap and uh, we can use blurred effect while it is selected I will go to the effect blur 
and here we have option feather so the same amount if I want I can increase or reduce and then click OK so this how it works and transparency is around also our vignette effect it will maintain the transparency you can see that if I will bring in this background there is no white edges around image so the same image let's import again I am going to place so here we have same image and we are going to apply feed their edges effect on this image let's make a copy press plus key okay so here I will select this image and I will apply feather effect I will go to the effect blur and feather but you can see that once I apply feather the white edges around our image it's appear okay and if I will increase here or reduce is okay but there is a white background around the edges so we don't want that we want this way our picture will be blurred around so we can use on any background so let's click OK how to fix this problem all what you have to do you need to create another rectangular shape just like this inside your image area so here if I will clip this image inside or I will intersect it with this shape and apply blur effect still it will not work so the technique is you need to apply little bit rounded corner to this shape so here we have a option rounded corner and I can apply some amount here let's try 0.5 and you can see that we have rounded corner if we will make rounded corner that will maintain the transparency in our image once we will clip inside or intersect with this shape so our shape is selected if I want I can clip my image so select the image under this shape the image is selected while your mouse it is on the image you can right click and you will get option here power clip inside so click on power clip inside and simply use this shape rounded rectangle and click it so you can see that our image goes inside if I will go to the effect blur and you can see that feather option is disabled because power clip feature it is applied to our image so we need to convert it to bitmap we'll select it and uh, go to bitmap convert to bitmap and click OK now this is the final state of our image with rounded corner so let's try now we can go to the effect blur and here we have feather you can see that once I apply feather this way it really works and now if I will click OK we have transparency around our image though our image is in rectangle shape so this is the way you can solve this problem if your image is square or rectangle you can create another rectangular shape inside you can apply roundness to the corner and then clip that image inside after that convert to bitmap and apply feather it's very beautiful and nice effect you can apply to your image and you can use that image in your design layout such as brochure business card flyer greeting card and it doesn't matter that if you have color background or any complicated background you can use this image over that because it is maintaining transparency around the edges so that's all for this lesson I hope you enjoy this lesson and try to practice guys if you like my video please subscribe my channel and click on the bell button so you will always get notification once I will upload new video thank you